First, we believe it has to evolve into a true green web. So we're coming up with a new approach on how to build a 3D web or enable this metaverse. Hi, I'm Jeff Yen, Technical Marketing Director at NVIDIA. I'm really happy to be here today and share a little bit more about how we are looking at building the open metaverse. So mostly when you look at NVIDIA, many people know us as a gaming company or an AI or automation or something like that. Uh, but when you really look at it, it's really more about simulation, right? Even in the gaming world, we're simulating that alternate reality, right? We're, we're simulating that virtual world within the game. Uh, today, virtual worlds pervade the world uh, of entertainment and a variety of businesses are starting to deploy digital twins to simulate and control buildings, factories, infrastructure. And it's clear that the metaverse is no longer science fiction. It's more in the realm of the possible. But I'd like to discuss how we see that the metaverse will look like and how it will come to being. First, we believe it has to evolve into a true 3D really web. And to really do that, you, we kind of have to have an open, powerful 3D scene description so that everything can connect with each other. So we're coming up with a new approach on how to build a 3D web or enable this metaverse. You know, for starters, it wouldn't be really extending the 2D web into a 3D web, right? It's putting a, the 2D web into a powerful 3D framework. It's important that everything's efficient, optimized, so that uh, even with the current 3D workloads, it's very, very complicated and the files are very large. To make everything more efficient, you would only send what changes. So in essence, you could think of it as a Google Docs for 3D creation. We need to favor powerful hardware over the least common denominator. The current design is oftentimes we want to make sure everything runs well, uh, well, content runs well on everything, so that most content is catered towards the least common denominator or the weakest power, where we believe that things should be on the it should look beautiful everywhere, so it should be catered to the highest or the most powerful hardware. And because this would be a virtual world, we believe that it should be able to be authored and edited pretty much at all times by multiple users and to constantly create new experiences. So we built a 3D-like web-based system um, on the principles I just mentioned, right? And we call it Omniverse. Uh, much like the 2D web, it values, its value stems from power to link multiple parts together. And we're really providing a new level of interoperability in graphics technologies ranging from, and that work on legacy software, as well as cutting edge hardware, right? It utilizes the capabilities of all. You want to build a world that looks as realistic as possible. And we also need the physics in there, the simulation in there, so, so that the world also acts as realistic as possible. So with these combined, we're able to really show off what we can do in Omniverse. So all these things kind of combine to be the core. There's so many different applications that people use um, to build these worlds. And then we can combine that into this Omniverse and then also have portals to look into. And to see this thing, like to see this virtual world of Metaverse, we've also provided, it says as part of Omniverse, the Omnibus, Omniverse RTX renderer. It's a scalable, photo real, real-time renderer built on our RTX technologies, really to stimulate the world as faithfully as possible. Not only that, we also think that uh, we need portals and user agents so, so that through VR, we can wormhole into the metaverse and see it and experience it in there. Uh, even through AR, we're able to either project this virtual world onto our physical world, or even let AI agents within the metaverse look out into our physical world. So it's multifaceted and we feel that it's really portals for so many different possibilities. Um, you can think of it as kind of what we call the ultimate mashup, right? If you're trying to build metaverse, the importance of composability is so important, right? The metaverse, not unlike the 2D web, should allow you to bring together elements from anywhere on the internet 
and compose it into a virtual world. So it's in essence the ultimate mashup. Whether you're an individual creator or part of a team in a larger group or enterprise, we have an omniverse for you. We will, uh, so we invite you to experience it for yourself and join us in building the metaverse. In the future, we believe that more and more content experiences will be available in the virtual world than in the physical world. Uh, more markets will arise as worlds of just virtual worlds increasingly are made. Thank you.